and welcome back. Remy and I are here again this month and ready to tackle another exercise from Horse and Rider magazine. The one we've chosen is all about contact. We are definitely not alone in having needs to work into a consistent and elastic contact on our dressage sheet. We often get that. So we've picked one from here that is going to help hopefully um, improve that for us. <laughs> are you ready to go? So there are four or five different exercises that we can run through today and there's something for everyone. It starts off quite simply checking that you are positioned correctly so anyone can do that and then it moves on into transitions ending up with a rain back so lots to choose from and hopefully we'll have some fun so you might already know this but you might not FYI when it comes to doing no stirrup work, if you roll your stirrups down slightly so that the buckle is lower down and not at the top, when you throw the stirrup over, you don't get the rub underneath the um, flap here, so you don't get a chafed thigh, which let's be honest, is rather painful. reasons why I love reading through these articles and riding through the exercises is because it breaks things down and makes things really simple and you have a little bit more of an understanding as to the theory behind it all. We've had on our dressage sheets before needs to work into a more elastic and more consistent contact. Obviously the judge is not going to sit there and start explaining why they need to be doing that but sometimes I read the things through and I think I don't know. Um, I know they need to do that, but I don't know why. So having it all explained out in here, there was a particular snippet that resonated and stuck with me, which says an inconsistent contact will make your horse slower to react to your aid because your instructions won't reach him as quickly or clearly. A little like a phone line with poor signal. So that makes perfect sense. So there are five different exercises. For you to choose from and ride through you don't have to ride through them all at once you can kind of incorporate them all together so i was doing the bending whilst doing setting sitting trot whilst doing it with no stirrups that sort of thing it really does make for a more productive schooling session potentially you could focus 10 minutes on each exercise and then you've got yourself a nice 50 minute session which in the winter when you're kind of needing to be a bit more productive with your time gives you that focus so you're not wandering around aimlessly thinking what am I going to be doing today and the best thing about them all is you do not need to do any of them in an arena if you don't have an arena you can take them out hacking and do them up on the downs say I mean you might need to be quite secure and brave if you're going to do no stirrup work but if you feel like doing it go for it there's absolutely no reason why you cannot give them a go out there. I'm gonna take them to shows with us and use them as part of our warm up. It'd be brilliant to have a bit more of a productive warm up, to have a bit more of a focus and to have things to work on. We're definitely gonna keep trying at home as well. And I think the end part says, having a consistent contact is something that will come with time. So hopefully if we keep this up, fingers crossed, we'll be 
are moving in the right direction. So things can only get better. But for now, one of the top tips was actually to do carrot stretches. Um, so we don't actually do it with carrots because Rem can get a little bit, a little bit mouthy. So we do it with a lick. So we're going to do those now. But thank you for watching and definitely give these a go. They're super good fun. They're really straightforward. And yeah, no matter what stage you're at, these are beneficial to anyone. So get out there and do it and have fun whilst you're doing it.